In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to run HTML in Visual Studio Code. Let's go ahead and open a new folder where our HTML project is. For me, it's on the C drive in the projects folder. Okay, so I'm going to click on my HTML folder and click select. Okay, this project contains several HTML files. So I'm just going to open one of the HTML files here, close those annoying messages. Okay. And as you can see, I also have these two other HTML files in the same project folder. Okay, select the HTML file you want to open and go to extensions. Now here in upper left corner, start searching for open in browser extension. Okay, just click on the extension. As you can see, it's been downloaded 8 million times. So that's how many people are trying to open HTML in browser. Now click on the install button now to access settings for this extension click on the cogwheel button over here and go to extension settings so here just type chrome or firefox to set your default browser for opening your html files in now we can close this by going to our html file and with this extension installed all you have to do is right click on the file and click open in default browser you can also choose another browser here Okay, and VS Code will open your HTML file in the browser you specified, which was Firefox. Now, for most people, this is enough for opening HTML in a browser, but it works exactly the same as dropping that HTML file into the address bar of the browser, which is something you could do without this extension. For that reason, I'm going to show you another way of opening HTML files in your browser and running them on a local host and also automatically refreshing whenever there's changes to the file. Now, as far as this extension goes, you can also actually select one of the browsers to open it with. And here I just opened this same file in the Chrome browser. Now, there's a better way of opening HTML in your browser, and that is by using the live server extension. So go ahead and type live server and click on the extension. Here I already have live server installed, but go ahead and click on the install button. After installing this extension, go to the settings wheel here, click on extension settings, and in the upper right corner here, click on this settings JSON file. Okay, once in your settings file, we're going to add our default browser. And the way to do that with this extension is open the double quotes, type live server dot settings dot advanced custom browser CMD line colon and in double quotes type Chrome or your favorite browser. Make sure to press control S to save this file. And now to open your HTML file with the live server extension, click on this go live button. You're going to see the message server is started at port 5500. And automatically your HTML file will open in a... Now the difference is that you're running your file from localhost or 127.0.0, which is the home address of your computer. So you're running your HTML file as if you're running it on a real web server and generally that's how you develop web applications.